Hello and welcome back to Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Two things before we get started. First thing is, uh, the mic may have been blown out in some of the other episodes. Blame Skype, it changed my mic volume. Anyway, uh, second thing is, we uh, have two new custom courtiers. We have Zach Greensmith. He claims that his family were old friends of Aegon the Conqueror. And in fact, he had given them a dragon egg. Uh, he, he may look just a bit like a rock, but uh, we'll see uh, whether he's telling the truth or not. And the other w person we have is Fren. Fren originally comes from the crossing. He was um, a knight, but he never took a house. And he really hated the Ironborn because he, well, he thought his father was killed by them. He found out many years later that they were not. And as he was a knight who traveled the lands, just... Uh, you know, working at this um, house here, this castle there, he's decided to come here and work for us. And, uh, yes, we'll uh, see how that goes. Right, um, let's get our our person set out here. We are Urus, we're five. We have Pride Focus. We have three brothers. We have Lenwood, who has a claim on all of our stuff as well. Don't forget this. Uh, he has got the duty focus. We have Josran who has no focus. And we have Harren, who has no focus. And all of them have claims. Okay. Uh, wait, I'm going to go back to us. There we go. Back to us. So, we also have a weak claim on the Lordship of Stone Tree, which is what we're currently fighting for. Our council is discontent because we have a new ruler. Our liege's council is discontent because our liege is an idiot. Presumably. Our council is empty. That's a new one. Let's appoint some people. Wait, why can we not? Oh, our region is... Ah, first look at this. Lord Harlan of Saltcliffe. He's, um... He's a reaver, he's scarred, he's ambitious, he's proud, he's gluttonous, he's just, and he's gregarious. Okay. And who is our educator? Our educator is our father, Roderick Pike. Seems reasonable. Um, He has got widowed, he's a reaver, fashionable, envious, diligent gregarious, selfish, depressed, and a drunkard. Okay, so kind of, um, par for the course for, uh, the Serpent Tail kind of line. Okay, let's see what we want to do. First things first, we should get a council. So, Harlan, do you have any friends? Oh yeah, you have friends. So, we have Mayford, who's reasonably alright at Marshall. Um, Harlan, what else do we have? We have Jimmy, Who's also recently all about Marshall, but it's got a little bit of diplomacy, got a little bit of intrigue going on here. Uh, where are we going to here? We've got Tiberius, who's... Okay, Marshall got a little bit of diplomacy, not any intrigue. Okay. Got Christopher, who has a little bit of Marshall, a little bit of learning. He's on a reaving right now. And we have Master Alec, who doesn't really have much of anything. Okay. Just looking at what kind of counts we're going to want to set up. Also... Does he have anything else? He is ambitious, so I would try and think that he would try and fill our council with people who generally supported him, but not necessarily just his friends. Um, okay. Let's see what we get. Justicar? Our Justicar is probably going to be, I guess, Jimmy. He's the first one on the list. Who's, like, any good at this. Okay. Jimmy, you are a Justicar. Master of Arms, probably going to stay as Lord Lennis. Uh, Dennis, sorry. Just because he is um, powerful. Treasurer. Um, do we have anyone who would be his friend in Treasurer? Not really. Tiberius, maybe? He's got six. I think he would maybe put somebody higher up. Um, was Unknown not Treasurer before? I suppose he could stay as Treasurer. Um, no real problems there. Spy Master. I master. Do we have anybody who kind of fits the bill? Not... Well, Tiberius is alright. He's got an 8. How much are we losing? We are losing a lot, but uh, it can't be Daymore. Could be Gwyneth. She was Spy Master before, actually. She was Spy Master before um, Vori. So I suppose that could work. Maester. Well, we only have one option for Maester, so... And Drowned Man, we have no options. Okay. Let's get all these people back doing what we want to be doing. Scheme. Collect taxes. Probably switch you back to training children. Um, I don't know. Improving diplomatic relations. I suppose. Um, hmm. 
We'll think about that. We'll think about what Jimmy's doing later. And then you can continue to oversee the province. Right. Let's, uh, I think we have to break our siege. Because the other siege, we're going to lose first. So we have to break our siege and attack it. Our army seem alright, so let's do that. Righteously imprisoned, artists, nope, no one else. Also, who is our character? He has no traits at all. Okay, blank slate. We have our weak claim on the Lordship of Stone Tree, which we're already pressing. And we have a claim on the High Lordship of Summer uh, Field for our courtier, which we've had for a while. Cool, let's go. Hacken. Oh, maybe SP3. I think we should win this fight. Uh, Chrysillian Island died of uh, poor physique. Okay. Nobody else has died yet. I thought I heard a couple of deaths. So we should win this fairly easily. Yeah. I think we want to chase his army down this time. We'll head to Volmark and then we'll work out where he's going next. Who's going after Volmark? Oh! Harlaw has... Um, Lord Lancel, the chase of Harlaw, has declared war on us. Why? He has no... Over Harlaw Hill? Oh. He, got a he has a claim on Harlaw Hill? Since when? He has no claim on this. I'm going to hit this. Or is it... Oh, it's just your part of his land. Oh. Request our legion intervention, obviously. He's not going to say yes, but we'll request it. King Joffrey is a just and able liege, for he's managed to force Lancel Lancer to stop his wars of aggression against us. Whew. That would be worrying. Attack in here. Or remember to be nicer to our liege. Uh, keep chasing. We might actually be able to win this without a single... Um, what's it called? Yeah, without a single siege, if we can kill his army. Oh, auto save. No crash. No crash. Cool. Into Hammerhorn. Chasing them all around the islands. Oh, and then over here. Mayford Mack died from too much drinking. Okay. We need a new sworn shield. New sworn shield is going to be based on Marshall and then whoever has the highest dual skill multiplier. I guess it makes sense it would be friend. He has come to our court. He's kind of older. He sees that our, our new leader is a bit, you know, he's a bit younger. He's kind of take. he's taking him under his wing. He's like, oh, I also have char in for one. Oh. Let's turn that off. There we go. Um, but yeah, maybe he's, he's a little bit like, um, he has come over, he thought that we had done him wrong and he's trying to make amends. That could make some sense. Right. Yeah, and we kill all these people. Not quite. We'll keep chasing. Here we go on Hammerhorn. Uh, Lord Colin of Norse March usurped a whole lot from the High Lordship. Of Nor uh, usurp the High Lordship. So that's the Pharaohs took land from the Osgrays. Right, where are you going? You're on to Saltliff? Yep. We think you could stop you on the way past, but I guess not. And then we'll keep chasing. That uh, should be a stack wipe. There we go. There goes the rest of his army. Um, let's uh, back here. Lord Harren of Stone Tree has founded the Lord Harren for the Iron Isles faction. Um, that's a bit optimistic. Will you uh, accept our thing? Nope, he will not accept our peace. So we will go back to Stone Tree and we will siege him down. I love this army that's just like, I'll oh, come and siege. Nah, so there's an army nearby. I'll come and siege. No, there's an army nearby. It just keeps jumping in and back. Back in and out. In Joffrey the Scarred has declared the Westland a war for Prince Norwin's claim on Seaskin Point on King Thurgood of Westeros, who is currently imprisoned by Master Leobald of Stagstead. Okay. Um, well, if we're given the choice to join the war, we will. Uh, King Emmon the Holy decided to exile Get Arlen Ashford. Okay. Cool. You asked... I assume our father, Roderick, to teach you how to uh, better fight with a sword. Stick him with the pointy end. We got some more... Uh, we're now a poor fighter. So we want to learn how to fight. Okay. Uh, oh, so Lord Harren used his favour to get uh, Lord John into his faction. John the Eagle. John Yu. Hmm, okay. 
I didn't think about using fate. I didn't know that favors could be used like that. I never really used them because they don't seem very good. Apart from uh, forcing uh, marriages, as we found out in the uh, in the Aegon campaign. But maybe forcing a lot of people into a faction could be a good idea. King Emin the Holy has declared the Reachman War for Lord Victor Slame on Blackheart on Storm King Edric. Hmm. Okay, so that's, uh, yes, a lot more men on the uh, Reach Reachman side. Is that what they're called? Reachman's? Yeah, Reachman side. Okay, cool. Reachman. Just trying to basically fill time while the siege uh, finishes. Lord Simon of Great Wick has usurped the Lordship of Pebbleton from Sir Norwin the Gallant. Okay, so he now holds all of this. I think, right? Yeah, but why is it grey? You're not into... Oh, because you, you're on Westeros. I thought they were all under the... I must just be misremembering. I thought they were all under the uh, rock, but I guess they're not. Oh, well, that's fine. A Garion of Cornfield's Peasant Revolt is the Peasant's Revolt of Cornfield on King Joffrey the Scarred. So there's a Peasant's Revolt going on in the rock. Uh, Siege is going alright. He's in multiple wars. Uh, yeah, he's in the same wars we are. Okay. Uh, Lord Garth of Westmarch has served the Lordship of Coldmoat from uh, Lord Colin of Stanfast. So Lord Garth has usurped the Lordship from... Alright, so the Osgrays have taken the Lordship from the Pharaohs when the Pharaohs... Oh, and he got the High Lordship of the North March. Wow, we got it back so quickly. I was like, we've seen this before. Just the other direction. And we had. Defenders, uh, we're almost done. As long as the um, Westeros army stays away from us. The Wayfarer's Rest War for Martin's claim on Westeros has ended as Martin Macy joined the Westlander War for Prince Norwin's claim on Seaskin Point as Defender. Okay. So, Martin Storm of Westeros. Wait, was he not the person who was in our court? Uh, am I crazy? Or am I thinking of someone else? Um, I think he might have been the one who was in our court for so long. Oh no, that's Justin Macy, right? No. Is there a Macy? There was someone in our court who fitted this. Uh, he was a bastard, I think, though. Nope. 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 I'm going to need to look at this off camera, I think. But, uh, I think there's a high chance that might be the courtier who we had... Um, oh no, there's Martin, yeah, Martin Macy. He is our, the courtier who we had in our court. <laughs> oh, well, well done him. Uh, he is, okay, so what happened is he inherited the kingdom of Westeros from Thurgood Macy, who, um, I guess was just forced to give it up. Okay, so he was forced to abdicate with, he, uh, to Martin. Okay, even though he's a bastard, there was a, faction to put him in charge. I get it. Okay. And now he has joined in this war. I see. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah. Okay. Well, good good for him. Oh. Okay. Uh, Prince Olvar of Dorne died a natural death. He was married to Princess Jean. And Martin Macy is no longer known, known as Storm. He has legitimized himself. Cool. I didn't know you could do that, but that is cool. I also like that the name went away. Um, people are being released from some dungeons. And we have won our siege. Yes. My lord, I am pleased to report I have captured some high-value prisoners after the siege of Stone Tree. I hereby turn them over to you for your judgment. Yours humbly, Roderick. So they're all in my dungeon. We have so much war score. We enforce enforcer demands. We have won. We now own Stone Tree, which we can hold, and we'll keep holding it. We'll disband all of our troops. Uh, we're a little bit low on troops, but our max number of troops is really high right now. Okay, we have a lot of prisoners. Let's deal with these. So, um, we are a poor fighter, but our regent is just. So he's got something. He's kind of. He would probably do whatever is just here. So. Um, I guess release anyone who, like, can't pay for a ransom, and then ransom anybody who will ransom. 
That seems fine. Our council votes on these anyway, so we'll we'll get the ransom for uh, Falia Farwood. I'm assuming that there's not anybody if there's anybody related to us or anything, they'll just be released. Uh, you can. Oh, you you will not approve releasing her. Will they improve executing her? No. Well, I guess she's staying in our prisons, right? Uh, Gynar. Will not prove release or execution. This actually makes it a lot easier to do to do these. Nope. Oh, they'll approve executing Corwin Hoare. Um. But that will lower the Lordship of Lonely Light. Hmm. Okay. Well, I suppose if our council approves... Um... I am just her honor. Oh, so our regent is the one saying no, in which case, no. Um, I'm assuming our regent would get the final word here. Uh, nope. 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 I, I was actually just not scrolling the bar at all. So I guess we'll let one go. And, uh, then we'll just kind of leave it. Yes. I'll ransom her back and the rest, uh, will not do anything with. Cool. So we have new land. That's, that's something we haven't done in a while. Actually just getting new land. And uh, it's actually quite good land. We almost have the full High Lordship of Harlaw Hill. Which is du jour. High Lordship. It's du jour this. Uh, we just need Volmark, which our leash holds. And uh, he has given, Harlaw Hill is currently held by someone. It's currently held by... Uh, Lord Lancel. And he, apart from Harlow Hill, holds the Lordship of Landisport. Okay, so that could be difficult. We also hold Saltliff, which is your part of the High Lordship of Pike, which we control Lordsport as well. So we've got two bits uh, of land that we almost control full High Lordships of, apart from our Liege controlling the other two bits of it. That's fine. Um, do you want to get a claim on something? Oh, Orkmont, our liege controls. Uh, do I get a claim on Old Wick? I'm assuming that we can uh, possibly fabricate claims given our liege's ambition. As that's my logic for that. And righteously imprisoned this guy for trying to investigate ja Zach Greensmith's legitimacy. Hmm, our council will say no. But it's interesting that he's trying to do it. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we'll just kind of be alright here. My prisoner, Victoria Goodbrother, is complaining about her dark cell in this dungeon, asking for more suitable accommodations. She was married to Josran Hoare, who is dead. Um, well, I could release her, and she can repay me later. Her opinion of us would go up. Uh, but we have nothing saying that we would do that. Let's look at our regent. Would our regent release her? Hmm... I don't know. I think our regent might be merciful. Oh, that, that seems reasonable. Okay. Uh, Blackwood's being released from King Martin's dungeon. Lord Zat. Oh. Okay. Um, in case you're wondering how this happened with him being a new house. What happened is I was looking for somebody who would be a suitable person to be a friend of Aegon far back. And that would be either the Baratheon line, the Celtigars, or the, um, or the, what's it called, or the Corhees line. So I was suggesting that maybe he was related to the Corhees, because we have to put in a father for, otherwise the game will crash. Uh, well not game, otherwise they'll just die. So I thought, let's put in a really old, um, you know, one of the Corhees as a father, okay? Well, apparently, he was next in line. Which seems unlikely, but okay. That's weird. I guess he's left to go be Lord of Harrenhal. That wasn't really what I was intending, but I guess it worked out that way. I also thought Lord of Harrenhal might, you know, not die age 18. Well, that, whatever. Uh, Gisela Drum is um, complaining about her dark son in the dungeon. She is married to Harren Hoare, who we have deposed. Um, we'll be merciful. We'll give her more suitable accommodations. Although we are fr we are in a way intertwined with the drums from a while back, I think, aren't we? I don't know. My lord, I, Todrick, uh, our uncle, 
Uh, sincerely ask that I be allowed to pursue a career as a drowned man of the drowned god so I may finally dedicate myself to studying the legends and worshipping the drowned god. Well, of course, Todrick. You can go and serve with honour. So he has now gone off to uh, become a drowned man. My courtier, Lawrence Fields, has expressed a desire to get married and has asked you for permission to find a suitable spouse. Well, Lawrence, um, you were previously married to Yasilla Ironfoot. You can go and marry as you please. You can find yourself a spouse. Well, I guess we'll carry on a couple of months. I was going to go and that's the end of the episode, but apparently the game decided it was going to crash. Just, you know, at the last second. These past weeks, my father, Lord Roderick, has been seeking a title from Lord uh, Regent Harlan. Lord Harlan decided to accept his position and named him Lord Roderick of Stone Tree on your behalf. Um, wait, we have a new... So Harlan... Our uh, our regent has decided to give our father our, t our our land. Oh, okay. So he's now Lord of Stone Tree. Fascinating. Yeah, that that wouldn't quite be the word I'd use for it, but fascinating. Let's go with that. I guess Roderick can still be uh, our like leader of our armies. No real reason why I would take that away from him. Okay, fascinating. Yes. Definitely the word I would use. I think we're going to go on till the next auto save and uh, just make sure the game doesn't crash, basically. Zack, by the way, is not in charge of Harren Hall right now. Which is, uh, I thought that was interesting, but it's not something we're going to need to worry about. Uh, did we deal with the prisoners? Yeah, we dealt with the prisoners. We had ten. Oh, one wants to be ransomed? Oh, a whole bunch can be ransomed now. In which case, we'll start ransoming them. Are they all the same person? Yeah, they're all the same person. So we'll get each ransom as we go. Lawrence Fields has expressed a desire to get married. Marry as you please. We'll get our ransom. We'll do the next ransom. I should probably just click ransom all prisoners, but I'll do that in a second. Yep. Ransom all prisoners. There we go. Wait till the end of the month. Before I do anything else, let you go check. Okay, so they've all been ransomed. The these three are the three who have not been ransomed. That's fine. We got a reasonable amount of money from that. It was a good endeavor. And July. Autosave. The autosave went through, which means the game will not constantly crash. So thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.